right, welcome back to the LC Transfer Room. Today, we have a Watford predicted 11. Myself, Jack, Chris, Ta, and Maddie. This is live, actually, a bit earlier on. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Notifications on so you make sure you can get involved in all of our streams going forward. So we have another lovely graphic created by Chris. That is going to be it's not to lovely. It's not lovely. It's clapped, but it's what, it's what we deal with. It's lovely, Chris. It is, <laughs> it is lovely. You have to admit. Let's zoom in a little bit. So very awesome. interesting options. Very interesting options about what Liverpool could do for their match. So let's we'll start at the very base of the team. You know, obviously no Allison. So let, let me just say the name. So because no one else wants to say it, it is Adrian <laughs> in contention to start this match at host to Kelleher. No, no chance. Absolutely <laughs> no chance. I would that would be painful. Is there any argument yeah. other than Kelleher? Um, <laughs> fact, tell I did watch one international game, and it was it was the Ireland game where they won Israel, and Kelleher when he was was called into action was fantastic. So and he oh, he always is for the pool. I mean, touch wood, I don't jinx it, but usually always is for the pool. Right back spot. Trent Nuggs and Arnold back in training. Is yeah, there okay. and with the midfield issues? Is there is there any argument here beyond? No, I think it's a good warm up game for Trent prior to going into the Atletico Madrid. What do you reckon, Tar? You think Trent or maybe even Nico Williams? <laughs> Save yourself, Chris. I know you go to Union Wales and that, but Trent 100 percent He's in my fantasy team as well. I need him to play. Yeah. I played a free hit last week, so I've got him right back in my team this week. I you? thought that free perfect, hit perfect. Was the same thing as wild card. So I, I made all these changes about two weeks ago. Forgot to check it the week after, and I realized my team was just full of injuries. I, I I had a stink in me. I I over was overconfident that Ronnie was going to demolish Evan. I'm triple captain Ronnie against Evan. <laughs> oh. and then he didn't start. Hey. But Salah was my vice captain. So if Ronnie wouldn't have came on for them 15 or odd minutes, he came on for against Evan, I would have got Salah triple captain, which is just oh my goodness. That's, hey. that's the worst. Those are the worst. I ended up getting three points for Ronnie. It was devastating. <laughs> Oh, that's embarrassing. So, right oh. center back spot, um, Joel Matsip. He retired from international duty now. I think he did that a while yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, back in 2016. Yeah, so he's been retired for that for a while. That's a big deal for him because two weeks off, um, does he retain the spot or do you want us to have someone else so he's fit for the Champions League? I'm going to throw out it. I think it's going to be Gomez and Canate against Watford. Just with Klopp Gomez talk. and Canate? Yeah, just with Klopp talking about Gomez um, and giving a little slide dig to Southgate. And then Canarte is not going to play against that first game Madrid. Mid week games like Watford is where Canarte can gel into the Premier League. These are games what are undoubtedly a little bit easier. You're not going to play Canarte against like United not, or Everton or City, are you? Like, I'm sure. I I, I can't see a, a, a reality where Van Dijk doesn't play. Surely what? not. On a twelve a tough game, twelve thirty kickoff need to be on set pieces. Van Dijk has to play. I think it's, it's I think it's gonna be Matip and Van Dyke. I think I think we gotta you know there's no way of overlooking this one. I think I think Gomez will play, you know, on if it's go Gomez and Van Dyke or Gomez and Canate, maybe, but I do think Gomez will play just because Klopp seems to have focused on the fact Gomez didn't get picked by Gareth Southgate and had a little dig about John Stones as well. I think he's just gonna throw him in. I, I agree. I'd agree with Van Dijk and Gomez. I'd go with that. I, I think maybe you'll play Matip and Van Dijk in the uh, in the Champions League. So you're playing Van Dijk though, Chris. So so hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with Chris. I think Van Dijk has to play. It, it's too you know I it's too big of a, a trap game for Van Dijk not to play. I I don't want to see Kanate here with Sar. You know, gets past Robertson. I don't want to see that personally. Uh, you can yeah. handle it, but I much prefer Van Dijk. There, there were threat is going to be from right here. I would imagine Van Dijk has to play. Look, I'm, I'm not saying Ibu Kanate couldn't do a job. Like I with, think he's class. With this but, comment, I think Trent Hall will confirm he's starting because he, he tweeted about check change your fantasy footy team. <laughs> he's all but confirmed that he's definitely starting. Go, Gomez at right back is interesting to me. That's mm. a case where I think a back, a back four that has Simicas at left back and Gomez at right set, at right back. Could actually be good because then it almost becomes a back three. Gomez was a right back anyway. He, he is right back. We both was right back, and before Trent emerged, Gomez did have a few run outs at right back for Liverpool, and he didn't do bad. He he was he did play centre back for Charlton though, like when he was yeah. a kid. 
So uh, we, he's, he's a definite centre back. Like when we bought him, and then the youth teams, we bought him, put him straight yeah, to right, yeah. right back, and then when he broke into the Liverpool team at first, he was a right back. So mm. you you can play him at right back, but he obviously is miles stronger at centre back, and that's why he doesn't play right back. But I'd rather Gomez play there than say James Milner. Um, but obviously, I think Trent's all will confirm these fits, thankfully, so we don't need to worry about right back. Left back. Is this up in the air? Robertson versus Simicass. I think we, we hinted at a potential debate. Is there a debate? The Greece no. play? Because Robbo played two, the Greece play? Um, I, I don't think it, it'll... I think he'll go pretty much... I think he'll go Robertson. I, I, I'm I'm almost certain he'll go Robertson. I think to deal with... Um, a, such a threat as uh, as Ishmael Asai. I, I love Kostas Shimikas, but defensively he's not on Andy Robertson's level yet. Um, and you know, <laughs> I just don't think he, he he has the facilities yet to deal with Saar as well as Robertson. No, no Wait. disrespect. You spelled Dyke wrong. No, he didn't. That's right. <laughs> that looks proper wrong. I, I know what you're saying, where sometimes things just look right. I'm, I'm 99. Yeah, D I J K is right. It's it's because <laughs> on the back of Van Dyke's jersey, he always put Virgil, right? Is, is that why? Yeah, I, yeah. I rarely see it like written out like that as well. I, and I agree with the sense with the defense. I think we won't change too much actually because we're changing so much in midfield. That's true, actually. You do want stability in some places, so let's get in that midfield debate. Who's in the sixth spot? Is it Henderson? Is it Milner? Is it who else could play there? Oh, what do you reckon, mate? I think Mil- I think he goes Milner for this one. In the six, I agree. I agree with Tar. Yeah, I agree with Tar. I think. Um, yeah, just like just I, a, a safety option, you know, returning from international uh, game. So yeah, why not? He's been however, two weeks. Do you want Milner at the six or Henderson at the six, and then play think, either one of them on the right hand side? I think I'd put Milner and uh, Hendo at the six and Milner on the right hand side. You know, because so many times this season, Jordan Henderson is not covered for Trent. So. You'll, there's been a few times where you, teams have hit us on the counter and people you know, people on Twitter have been like, Trent's at fault there. And Trent isn't at fault. The way Liverpool attack corners and stuff is if Trent goes forward, Robbo stays back. If Robbo goes forward, Trent stays back. It's just how it works, the system. Uh, but when Trent goes forward, the right centre mid is ultimately meant to cover Trent. And so many times, Hendo's been caught out this year covering Trent. Whereas yeah. Milner, to be fair to him, every time he's played, it's poor shifting. And I do think if he played on the right side, he'd cut, he'd probably cover Trent going forward more than what Hendo has been this season. And the question that I would ask then, would you not have Milner at left centre mid to help with the issue of Saar? No, I think Andy Robertson's quite capable enough to deal with his male Saar. So I think that the only position that's, I think, nailed on is Ox in the midfield. You think? I think. I, I don't think Kata plays. I, I, think it'll be, I think it'll be Milner, Hendo, Casey, you know. But the well, issue is Kata played Kata played three international games. He's made the biscuits, isn't he? Yeah. So Maybe even know. the Hendo Bobby. I can't see, I can't see Bobby in a three. Uh, uh, not yet. He, he, done, think... it, he done it um, when he came on. Was it Brentford? I, I, no, nah, he went 4-2-3-1 then. Uh, even now, he might do 4 2 3 one of Hendo and Milner. Hold them with Maybe. Bobby, um, Jota and Mane as the three and Salah as the one. I don't know. That's a read. I, I would personally, if if I had the choice, I'd play Ox. I think he could damage Watford. I think Watford's midfield is fragile. Um, I, yeah. I think he can drive, drive forward, and, and maybe even pop a shot off because they have got the cycling GK in goal, boys. Um, <laughs> He might the be too busy vlogging. Play. Come on, the boys. The Ox has probably played off collectively all season, though. That's the thing. Like he's not. He's not definitely, definitely not mattress. A hundred percent. Where so like Kaiser, I feel like it's now the best time to play him to keep him in that rhythm. Would you play, not play maybe maybe sixty of one and thirty of the other? Then I think. Well, has, uh, I mean, oh, what is it? Minamino. Minamino. I played him. I played him midfield for us this year and in preseason. I, I don't know if he's strong enough. Man. I don't know if he's strong enough. Could see a care. You've seen Klopp throw curve balls before with like, and it, like the Palace game last year. He just threw a mad line up. It wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> I, I would love to see Minamino play, but I highly doubt he's going to feature yeah. in this one. I think it's going to be Milner, Hendo, and Ox in, in midfield. See, I'm going to make an argument against Keita. I, I'm Keita's biggest fan, but he played a full 90 in their last time out against Morocco. 
played a good chunk against Sudan in the match before that, and it was against. Oh, I lost. I, I just pulled it up. Dan, I don't know. Proper play him into the ground, and this is this is a good point as well. Um, I, that's why I don't think you see Kate in the midfield today. I think Kate is made, Kate is made for the Champions League. His best performance is coming in the Champions League. So I think if Jones is fit, I think Jones for the Champions League. I think he'll part start Jones. I don't think Jones it didn't seem like Jones is going to come back in time for that, based on the way they were talking about his injury. No. Mm. I but you have you, you have so much as going midfield dilemma against Africa Madrid because Fabinho is back. That, yeah. six, that six position is so vital to our midfield because it allows the free. Right. The other so what do we say in the midfield? Start with the six, Milner Henderson. Let's make it. I think it'll be Hendo the six. Yeah. We overruled Ta, the new guy. <laughs> the new guy doesn't get any doesn't get any preference. Um, well, no. right, Milner, right center mid, I think Milner. I agree with. Um, and then is it is it Keita at left center mid? Oxley Chamberlain. I, I think. Oxlade. Oxlade. Probably will be the ox. There's I've seen a few leaks on Twitter, and quite often these leaks tend to be right. And it, it has been saying the ox is starting. So, so that's with the 14 at defensive mid, the seven out here, and and ox has got the pace to cover with um, Robertson as well, Great. if need be. I think he does. Um, front three. Is there any? I mean, I agree, Kel. Completely agree. Um. Yeah, uh, I'll pull that comment up actually from Cal. Is I think Henderson there? There is I think some. That's not protect. Henderson's been poor from. I, think, I don't think he's been as bad as people are saying. I don't think he's been good personally. I'm not. I'm not, not going to say he's been at his peak, but I don't think he's been bad. What's mad is we let Genie Wijnaldum go on a free, who is never injured, and give. I know he's the captain, and I know Hen, I love Hendo as much as the next person, but he's injury prone, and we've just given him a four year deal. And let someone who's never Everyone injured. Everyone was begging oh, for it, though, mate. Everyone was begging. Uh, they were saying, oh, but yeah. But we have the situation to... right now, if we're literally Hendo away from starting James Milner, Oxley Chamberlain, and Minamino in midfield. And, he, and Hen, Hendo getting injured is, is likely at the minute. But like, the, whole of, the whole of Liverpool football Twitter was begging for a Henderson contract. Oh, yeah. I think here's the thing, right? I think Henderson contract is not bad independent of other events, but to not re-sign Genie, and to re-sign Henderson was an emotional decision, and to make such a such a, such a, a cool, calculated decision about um, you know Genie to not be similar with Henderson. I think don't get me wrong. I was happy to see Henderson get a deal because I was disappointed to see Stephen Gerrard leave, and I do think he could have offered a bit more in that last season. Hendo in the dressing room. You can't replace something like that. Hendo and Milner are fantastic for the young lads coming through. But, yeah. I do think it's criminal. To not let to let a non-injury pro midfielder walk out because availability is key for an injury pro midfield. We have literally got an injury pro midfield. Personally, all right. Genie one album was excellent for us. I know this isn't the debate really, but it was. It fe- felt like the right time for him to leave and us to move on without him. I agree. Yeah. Personally. Yeah. That, and, and it shows the grass isn't always greener and I'm made up to see another player has left Liverpool and realised the grass isn't always greener because once you leave Liverpool, you've reached the pinnacle. So the only way is down from there and it's been yeah. proven so many times. The only one you could argue who's like, recently who's left Liverpool and been decent is like Sterling and Suarez. But you see it like, happen to Torres, Coutinho, um, Genie. I'm trying to think who else now has left them. Yeah. Well, Su- did you say Suarez is one who, who improved after leaving? Or got a good... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's massively improved after he was already unplayable at Liverpool. But then he went to Barcelona mm-hmm. and won the Liga and the Champions League. He was people talk about Messi, but Suarez would had a massive hand in winning them that champion. Speaking about tremendous forwards, Salah. I mean, is it just a no-brainer at right wing? Is it? Oh, Salah. Who who do we see down the middle? Is it Jota? I think maybe I think I took him off the bench personally. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm going to throw Mane as the nine. Now and right wide. And Jota out wide because you see Mane playing excellently for uh, Senegal through the middle, um, and he's also played there a couple of times. I think against Leeds this season he played in that in that in that nine. Um, I'd agree to an extensive. I think Jota's a lot more effective off the bench for Liverpool. Maybe, but then uh, Bobby's pressing would tire them out, and Jota comes on and just. Becomes I, I play Bobby as well. I play Bobby. Do you play Bobby? As, as okay. I go Salah, Bobby, and then I uh, Mane out wide. Yeah, I back yeah. that as well. Fair enough. I, I think that, <laughs> I 
I, I'm with the logic that I think it was Maddie that you said that the pressing. Um, yeah, Bobby's pressing, and it just feels as though Jota's a lot more effective from the bench. I don't know what it is, but every time he hasn't started and came on, I felt like he's made more of an impact. I like this. I like this lineup. Maybe Minamino, as Omer says in the in the comments, but I, I think this team is a strong one. It's a uh, it's a good one here, though. I think Th this lineup. All right, predicted score line. If this is the lineup that runs out there, Chris, toss to you first. I'm gonna say three 0 I think we have too much for Watford, despite their new manager bounce. Um, Mo Salah's scoring at least two, um, and I'm gonna get Oxley Chamberlain gonna score one. Maddie. I said it'd be tight beat at the start of the stream, bro. I've sort of grown into it as the streams went on. So I'm going to say 6 0. <laughs> <laughs> Matty, uh, it's hard to follow up that prediction to wrap up our stream. What do you what do you predict with this lineup? I I'm dumping, uh, you know, on if that was here on the spectrum, I'm going to go scoot back a bit more. I'm just going to go a 1 0. I think Mane is going to get his uh, 100th goal. I think he's going to be the third, uh, third African player to only do that 100 goals. So yeah. I think uh, just so just a one 0 solid one 0 win. Just I would take that midfield and so depressing. Yeah, that, <laughs> that midfield won three 0 against Man City in a Champions League quarter final. That's like all I'm three saying. Three years ago, three years ago. Matter. That was before. Back that from was... international football. Come on, just let's get back in the groove of things. This is Brexit, boys. All right, English <laughs> midfield only. <laughs> Well, that's our predicted lineup. Let us know yours in the comments down below. Thank you, everyone, for tuned in live and who tuned into the video here today. That's going to do it for our content for the LFC Transfer Room. For Chris, Ta, myself, Jack, and Maddie. that was a terrible ordering of that. Have a good rest of your day, and go Liverpool against Watford. <laughs>